Brains and Enrique, and today I'm going to be making a carbonara, classic, classic carbonara. What we want to do is we're going to be using uh, smoked thick cut hickory bacon, okay, but usually consists of one chale, okay, which is the cheek of the pork, right? So today we're going to make it easy, very simple, but if you want, you can go ahead and splurge, you can go ahead and look, uh, look a butcher, Anywhere you want to go, even Amazon. You can look at it on Amazon, anywhere online. All right? What I'm going to add to my carbonara is shrimp. Okay? As you can see, small shrimp. We're not going to do too big of a shrimp because, again, it's uh, kind of like an add-on. It's not really a classic carbonara. It's Rico's carbonara. Okay? A little bit of squeeze of lemon juice. Okay? We have our eggs. Okay? I'm going to add a little bit of garlic right here. Okay? Just you know, a couple of cloves of garlic, some parsley. For the life of me, I could not find in this small town uh, Italian parsley. And guys, very important, Pecorino Romano, freshly ground black pepper. Gives it that real nice hum of warmth, you know what I'm saying? Salt, uh, and of course, olive oil. Simple, simple, okay? So, this dish is really gonna take 20 minutes to do, not gonna take long again guys it's very simple okay very simple so packet of let's see here oh fuck me fuck me fuck me I like to use linguine we're gonna add a small pinch of salt to our pasta water remember that our pecorino romano and our baking is relatively salty this is gonna cook for about 11 minutes we're gonna take three to four slices of our thick cut bacon and we're gonna medium dice it. We don't want small pieces because they will be crispy. But again, that's up to you. We're gonna go ahead and peel our garlic and we're gonna leave it whole because we're gonna add it to our bacon as it's rendering and we do not want it to burn. We're gonna go ahead and peel our shrimp now. These are 2630 shrimp and we're gonna make sure that they are deveined as well. As you see, our pasta is cooking, okay? Another six more minutes should be done. Here's our pan. We're gonna go ahead and take our pan, okay? We're not gonna put any oil in there, okay? We're just gonna go ahead and throw our bacon in there, okay? Ah! Oh, do you smell that? Absolutely delicious, okay? Throw that bacon in there, and what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and fresh ground black pepper. Now we're gonna go ahead and throw in our garlic. Look at that, delicious garlic. Like I said, guys, make sure you feel it. Yeah, fucking donkey! So now that our bacon is rendered off, we're gonna go ahead and add our shrimp. I'm gonna add about eight shrimp. Again, these are relatively medium to large shrimp, 2630s. So they're gonna cook between about a minute, maybe 45 seconds. We're gonna add more pepper and just give it a couple of more tosses and just kind of have everything come together. After we grated a little bit of Pecorino Romano, we're gonna go ahead and add our egg. After that, we're gonna rough chop some parsley. Try to use some Italian flat leaf parsley. In this instance, I could not find any. We have our sauce. We have our sauce, guys. Uh, we're gonna add a little bit of this pasta water. It's very important you don't throw your pasta water out, why? Because we're gonna go ahead and temper our eggs. Because we don't want them to curdle. You don't want scrambled eggs. So like I said, we're gonna temper it with our warm water. We're gonna go ahead and just turn this off. Hey, look at that. Oh! Absolutely amazing. That fat is really fatty, okay? Come on, please. So after we tempered our eggs with our pasta water, we're gonna add a couple of spoonfuls of our pasta water to our saute pan. This is our last step, guys, so we're gonna have to do this 
pretty quickly because again we do not want our eggs to curdle we kind of want everything to come together in this very beautiful sauce Now we add our pasta to our saute pan. We're gonna go ahead and add our egg mixture. We're gonna do this relatively quickly, okay? Like I said before, we do not want our eggs to curdle, okay? The residual heat coming off the pan and the pasta should cook the eggs. So there's not gonna be any raw eggs in this dish and it should look exactly like this. Shrimp. Deliciousness. We're gonna go ahead and give it a little bit of more Pecorino Romano on top. We're gonna add a squeeze of lemon juice on top. Look at that. Boom. Absolutely amazing. Guys. Absolutely amazing. Look at that creaminess. Okay, pasta is perfect. Okay, you have your shrimp. Like I said, you don't want to get too much shrimp. Too big of a shrimp. Okay, medium size, small size. Look at that. Delicious. Okay, let's go ahead and have a taste. Shut up, turn the volume down, you fat fuck. A real nice warm heat from the pepper. Like I said, the shrimp are perfectly done. You get that smokiness from the bacon. Absolutely amazing. Look at that. Guys, try it out.